Hill Road. Pretty quiet right now. Maybe people hang, hanging out for some late night Saturday plans. It is certainly quite mild out there, so it feels pretty enjoyable to be heading out. Maybe driving with the windows down. Looking at our weather headlines for the next week or so, sunshine will continue. We do continue to stay quite hot as those temperatures will be in the 90s. We do have a few limited rain chances over the next week or so and it won't bring too, too much rainfall, but we do have some chances nonetheless. Temperatures right now are at 77 degrees. Winds out of the east at about six miles an hour. That dew point 64 degrees makes it feel quite muggy and it could provide a little bit of uh, juice for the atmosphere to maybe pop off a few storms over the next day or so. We'll get into that in future max just a moment. Temperatures around the region. Most of us are all in the 70s. Burksville at 66, 77 in Bowling Green, 73 up in Hardensburg. So again, really mild for tonight. And again, those dew points, if those in the 60s right now, that's going to have that really muggy feel. But our friends off to the north, uh, up towards E-Town, even towards Hodgenville in the 50s, a little bit drier air, so maybe a little bit more comfortable up there for you all. Doppler Max does show we are clean for our area right now. Do have some active weather up into portions of Iowa. We are not expecting that system to push our way. We continue to stay dry here locally. As we get into future Max, kind of running through your the rest of your Father's Day weekend for tomorrow, we'll start off with some sunshine. But future Max is now kind of introducing some more pop up storms that could pop up for tomorrow afternoon and into the evening hours. Many of these will be those quick storms that pop up and then they fizzle out. We're staying expecting them to stay below severe limits. So nonetheless, we might have a quick pop up shower throughout the area for Monday. We do start off with some sunshine, just a few clouds off to the north, but that cloud cover is going to start to build in and we do have some rain chances throughout Monday afternoon and into the evening hours Tuesday. Thankfully now the rain looks to be staying away from our area, but we do have quite the cloud cover. It's been a while since we've just had a cloudy day uh, with no rainfall, but nonetheless it will still be warm even with that cloud cover. Muggy meter does show the humidity will rise up into the sticky and muggy levels, continuing to feel just kind of sticky and gross out there. Uh, not the most enjoyable feeling out there, but it can certainly add to the heat indices, making it feel quite hot even up towards 100 degrees at times. Temperatures for the extended outlook for the next six to 10 days. They continue to have us under the well above normal range. So there's 90 degree temperatures, even ho hotter, closer towards 100. Certainly possible. We'll continue to keep a close eye on that. But the precipitation, they now have us back towards the near normal range before we were in the drier category. We weren't looking at too, too much in regards to rainfall. Daily planner for tomorrow, high of 96. It's going to warm up really quick and we'll already be well into the 90s by noon and those precipitation chances you see are quite limited, but they start to increase into the afternoon and evening hours as the atmosphere starts to work off a little bit of that heat from that's within the atmosphere. It could pop up a few of those storms. That's why we've got a 30% chance for tomorrow, a 30% chance for on Monday, some isolated storms. We then turn cloudy for Tuesday and Wednesday, but those temperatures staying in the 90s and then into Thursday and Friday, that sunshine will make a return. The heat continues. It will be in the middle 90s up towards 96 degrees and then partly sunny by next weekend. Just a reminder, you can download the WBKO First Alert Weather app by scanning the QR code on your screen or searching in your mobile app store.